so in this video I show and explain the strapping system and the pieces that I finished and also I finished the whole entire cost and I'm very happy about that so uh, just enjoy the video okay guys so I right now because I finished the helmet I actually finished construction of the helmet look at that it looks really cool um, right now I am actually filling up the seams so I can try to make it as seamless as possible so when I put the plastic dip you can hardly see the seams because before I started doing this you could really it was really in depth the seams and I didn't like that so I wanted to make it look like it's actually the whole entire helmet without it looking like it's from multiple pieces so yeah stay tuned okay guys so I finished the helmet already um, I seal, I uh, filled in the seams and all, um, but now I've, I've uh, continued working on the forearm pieces, but I'm actually wearing them, but I'm actually, because I put the strapping system in it, and these are how they look, don't mind that, but other than that, pretty fucking cool, I already, I'm really satisfied. People would be like, it looks like Batman, but it's not Batman. <laughs> Batman. No, it's not Batman. It's Shredder. Shredder put it this. So, I just want to finish the strappings tonight, and I'll, I'll, I'll fill in the seams tomorrow, hopefully, and then I can just keep on the straps. So, yep. They turned. Okay, guys, so in this clip, I'm just explaining. Um, in this video, like, how I finished the helmet, and I'm showing the, my stack of armor at the time, at that moment, but that was, like, last week, but actually, I'm actually making this video, this clip, for um, a group that I follow on Facebook called Peppercorn Library, and that's um, where they get um, PDO files, which you put into a software called um, Peppercorn Designer and it makes a 3D rendering and also splits the screen into a format of actually being in 2D in pieces. You print it out and you can actually transmit the phone or you can just do it as paper craft and you become a three dimensional object. So that's what Peppercorn is and this is when I was splitting into the group. So thank you. That's all my armor pieces. All of them are assembled. They're just in a stack right now because I most of my finish today. Um, I um, modified some of them. I sanded them down, but other than that, they're ready. They're done with the construction. Now it's just now it's just um, filling the seams. I'm gonna try to make them seamless as I can, and then after that, and then I have to seal them, and then I have to paint them, and then weather them, and then other than that, it's, uh, I'm really proud of myself. And of course, it's my first build. And oh yeah, there's my torso. Uh, there's my uh, torso piece right there, and the armor. And uh, yeah, let me show you guys how the helmet is. So. This is Shredder here. <laughs> um. So yeah, this is uh, my Shredder. So I honestly love the helmet. I couldn't do couldn't have done a better job than this. It's a kind of, it's a little bit uneven, but honestly, there's nothing really I could do at this point. I can't really take off the the muzzle because it was already barged on. <coughs> Sorry, it was already barged on, and once it barges, you can't really take it off unless you pry it off. But I don't really want to mess anything up or rip anything, and I just start all over again. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting sw I'm, uh, steps and steps closer into finishing this. I'm so happy I'm actually done with the construction of it. Such a relief. I don't need to print out. I, need, I don't need to um, cut cut any more patterns out. I don't need to print anything out, out, else out. Super happy. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you for my, thank you watching my progress videos. And thank you for letting me become one with the Peppercura Library family. If you guys consider it as a little family, I guess. I don't know. That's what groups usually call each other. Um, but, uh, yeah. You guys have a good day. 
Okay guys, so I just finished working on the shins. So right now what I did was, the first thing I did before, you, well you see the wood on it, that's what I tried to see on the seams. But, but before I started doing that, I worked on the strapping system. So this, pretty much the bottom strap goes where the bottom of my calf is. And then this is, goes on to the, the, to the top of my calf, almost behind my knee. And I tried it out, it totally works. <laughs> like I'll even show you guys. Like, give me one second. Okay. Yeah, so it has elastic and Velcro on it. Oh, this is oh, this is the left shin. Sorry, left. Didn't realize what. It was. That's the left shin. Lord, it's just a little bit more. Just lower it up the moment. Like, fucking hell. So whatever. But anyway, there's the shin. Total mobility. Very happy with it. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. Um, yeah, very happy with it. Shin. Total mobility totally works. Um, so yeah, just a little bit of progress on that. And then I'm gonna think I'm gonna start doing the. What, is, what do I have nuts? I'm probably gonna end up starting to do the, the the hand claws next. So yeah, stay tuned. Okay, guys. So what I have so far done for my costume is that I have the helmet done. Which I have, the only thing I literally just have to do is just, um, Plasti Dip, Prime, and Paint, and Weather. Um, I have my knee pads ready to be, pr um, uh, uh, Plasti Dip, Primed, and Painted. I have the gauntlets. The gauntlets done. I think I'm gonna end up, yeah, I'm gonna switching the strapping system, cause I think I kinda messed up on this a little bit, but it's still fine. Like I'll I'll deal with it. The shin's done. The shin's done right here. Very ha I'm very pleased on the result on that. And now the next thing I want to do is the pelvic piece. So I already have the chest piece done, the helmet, knee pads, shins. The only thing I actually have left are the little um, bicep. Or forearm pieces that go literally, literally like right, like right, right here. I have these, I have the pelvic piece, the shoulders, and then the hand claws. I think I'm gonna do these last because this is very easy. This is gonna be very easy. Uh, no, I'm gonna do the pelvic piece. So yeah, that, that's I'm gonna do the pelvic piece, and yeah, we'll see how the outcome is gonna be for that. Uh, stay tuned. Okay guys, um, so right now, I finished the strapping of the pelvic piece, and here it is, yeah, <laughs> and um, I'll actually explain on how it works and how you actually how I'm actually going to put it on, um, yeah, just give me a, let me just get a good angle on the camera, okay, good, so, in the back, so this is the back, and what I made was that I've taken Velcro, taken elastic, super glued it on, then I hot glued it, so you can see that oh, it's all hot glued on, very, very sturdy, it's never going to be coming off, and then I hot, and then I super glued Velcro onto it, even though it's industrial strength, the adhesive is not going to stay, so I put a few, I put some, um, uh, super glue on it so it can stay permanently but before you actually put super glue on foam what I do is I take sandpaper and I'll actually show you I um 
pretty much I sand, sand it because that opens the pores and then that's when the super glue will actually seep into the pores and manifest itself so it can have a permanent bond to the foam. So, I mean, it's, and, and um, these clips right here, these, these parachute clips are actually going to be clipping onto my thighs so it can be more form fitted and I can actually walk in them better. And also my pelvic piece won't look as bulky as they would. So let me actually put it on for you. I actually have to put it on backwards first so I can have the strapping on correct. This is what it is. What is this is what's like before before I put the thigh clips on. Looks alright. It looks a little bit bulky. Yeah. But when I put the um, my put the clips on, I can maneuver a little bit. Okay. That's one. Now the clips are on and it's not as bulky, it's actually more form fitted and I have total mobility. No problems, no issues at all. I can literally run in this if I wanted to. And what I did with the with the um, sorry, actually. So what I did with um the side panels is that I took elastic, I put it right here right right here can you actually see it and then at the back right there you can see a small piece so you can still have the flexibility and also elastic stretches so I can still have the mobility dip to both sides and the clips and honestly it, it feels really nice I can I have total mobility I'm not gonna have a problem um I'm not gonna have a problem moving in this not at all but the only thing that I'm kind of disappointed at because the costume itself, the pelvic piece itself has flaps. This is the front flap. The only problem is, is that I can't fit it on. Just because of how I placed the, um, the, high, the clips and the elastic. But I'm not worried about it. Even though my backside is a little, is a little bit more exposed. I'm going to actually, it's going to be covered because I'm going to be wearing a cape. So, I'm not really bothered with it. I'm not going to worry about it. And But other than that, it's really comfortable. So, yeah, there's my little update. And uh, <laughs> stay tuned. Okay, guys. Um, so, <laughs> I've um, I finished building the armor. Uh, the construction bit is done. And the only thing I have to do is... Um, the only thing, right, literally the only thing I have to do is plastic dip and paint. I already finished the construction of it. Everything is assembled. I did the strapping, which I, you've seen a few clips of my strapping for the different parts. But I finished everything. I've just, today I've, I've, um, I've sealed it. Well, I did, I did, um, a final fit test fit to see how all the armor fits on together, which I'll put, like, a picture, like, like right here but anyway um so all of it's done the strapping is done everything fits happy about that the only thing i need to do is literally just paint um whether some uh, wax it to make help seal the paint and then i have to get the cape so yeah i think yeah, i'm gonna I may make i'm gonna be making a custom cape um my <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Um, I'll put my logo, like also a picture of my logo, right here, of what I'm going to be using on the on the the cape. Um, it's pretty much well. Of course, I've said that my concept for this build for Shredder is going to be Shredpool. So a mix of a mixture of um, Shred of oh, Shredder, of course, the construction of Shredder, but also 
with a hint of Deadpool. Um, I've uh, pretty much looks so gonna make it more like Deadpool like. It's just gonna be the color scheme, so the paint job. It's not gonna be just silver like normal shredders are. But yeah, I'm just gonna do um, uh, red and black. Um, I'll put um, a picture of my concept art right here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, all of the all of the construction is done. Um, happy, I'm really happy. Even though honestly, I've this whole entire build, I built everything. This whole entire thing, I did it in two months. I started in the middle of February, so February twenty second. No, wait, like the twenty fourth, I started, and I completed it. So, and it's, like, it's May 1st right now. So, I did it in, like, two months. And that's one big deal. Well, I completed it before... Well, I completed the build... Um, well, the construction of it less than two months. Well, not... Well, before it became May. It's May 1st right now, but... I finished it towards the middle of April. To the end of April. So, Yeah. Everything fits. I'm really happy about that. I already, oh, by the way, um, I'll probably do a separate, um, uh, you know what? I'll do a separate update on that. Never mind. I forgot what I was about to say. Um, I'll do a, a separate video on uh, just splitting on that. But, um, other than that, um, thank you guys for watching. Um, thank you for guys for watching my construction build videos of my costume. I will make a separate video just doing an update on one thing that, that I've been doing for like two years by now but also um I'm, in, I'm gonna I'll do a video of the final reveal of the costume the full-blown costume when everything is 100% when I have all my materials that I need all my clothing on for my undersuit the paint job everything when it's totally complete and that's what I'll be wearing to a con that you got you got a hint right there so um yeah thank you for watching and always have a nice day and also oh yeah also don't forget to subscribe um comment and share this video with your friends if they're interested on making costumes um honestly the only thing i would recommend especially if you want to make your own foam costume do your research i've done research on this for for like four like three four years and i have no and i know what i'm doing so that's why i've been doing this build so just do your research honestly find figure you can actually learn from youtube that's actually how i learned how to build um armor so yeah um anyway don't forget to subscribe to subscribe like this video share this video um also if um if you guys are true fans um, click on the little bell icon right next to the subscribe button to get notifications when I just upload a video. So you all, so you can watch the videos that are on time that are uploaded. So, yeah. Alright guys, you have a good one. Bye. Yeah.